We're going to talk about engineering notation. And with this, in electronics, we work with very, very large numbers and very, very small numbers. So we got to be able to talk about this and be able to do our calculations. Engineering notation is very similar to scientific notation. Except engineering notation has its base. So the base number, A, is going to be between 1 and 999. My exponent, x, is going to be um, multiples of 3. So in looking at very small numbers, we have milli, and we use a lowercase m, and that is 10 to the negative 3. We have micro, use a Greek letter mu, and that is 10 to the negative 6. We have nano, lowercase n, and 10 to the negative 9. We have pico, lowercase p, 10 to the negative 12, and we'll just stop at femto, lowercase f, 10 to the negative 15. And I see nano and pico reversed all the time. If you remember n comes before p, 9 comes before 12, you'll never get those confused. For larger numbers, we have kilo, capital K, and that's 10 to the third. We have mega, capital M, 10 to the six. We have giga, 10 to the, neg or to the ninth. We have tera, capital T, 10 to the twelfth. And we have peta, capital P, 10 to the 15. So if we're going to apply these, and say we've got uh, 1,000 volts, well, I can put that in scientific notation, or engineering notation, by moving my decimal place, let's grab another number, going from one, where it's at, one, two, three. If I am going to the left, I'm dealing with larger numbers. So, moving the decimal place over there, that would give me one, my decimal place, times 10 to the third, so volts, or one kilovolt. So if we make that number a little larger, say one million volts, and I'll move it over three spots at a time, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's going to give me one times 10 to the six volts, or one megavolt. So we can do the same thing, go in the opposite direction as small numbers. We have 0.1 amps. That would give us, we got to move the decimal place now to the right. So let's move this over just a little bit. One, two, three, so I'd have to put two zeros there. So that gives me 100, uh, do the decimal first, one times 10 to the negative three, which would be one milliamp. And this would be amps. If I go, say, the opposite direction, if I have, um, say, one nanoamp, or, or capacitance, farads, that's going to be 1 times 10, if you look over the nano, negative 9 amps, or 0 0.1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 amps. 
Now, the issue is, you get up to FIBTO and these large numbers, a lot of calculators will not take these. So you have to use your EE button or your exponent button on your calculator, depends what calculator you're using. And so that allows you to place it, the values into your calculator. So in this case, I'd go one, if you're using a TI, you hit the EE button, which is the second function EE, and then the number nine. And that will put that number into your calculator. And we'll be looking at another video later on on actually applying your calculator to the problems. So this is your engineering notation. Get used to using small, large values, and um, you can work through your formulas and circuits this way. So thank you.